If you ask where the best wine come from, the answer is France. And if you ask where the best cigars come from, the answer is Cuba. Best roses, Ecuador. And if you ask where the best cashmere comes from, the usual answer is Scotland and Italy. Some, sometimes people might say raw cashmere fiber is best from Mongolia. But, the, but could the answer be Mongolia, full stop? Yes, I think it could. I started working with Kashmir in 2002 when I set up my brand in London. It was a natural move for me. It was a natural move for, it was a natural move for me being trained in textiles and growing up wearing and loving Kashmir. I grew up in Mongolia where the best Kashmir comes from. I grew up watching the Kashmir goats on our family trips to countryside. I grew up knowing that it takes three to four goats to make one cashmere pullover. And cashmere goats mold only once a year. Can you imagine? You have to take care of those three to four goats all year round in order to get cashmere enough, only just one pullover. These days, designing pieces, cashmere pieces made in Mongolia, is what I do in my life. We often ask by our customers who are amazed with the quality of our products, is it made in Italy or are you a Japanese brand? And it feels really good to say, no, it is made in Mongolia. So what would it take to make Mongolia associated with the best cashmere in the world? I think it would take four elements. The best is raw material. As with everything, it starts with ingredients. If the ingredient is good, half the game is won, which we already have. The best raw material we have in the world, best cashmere in the world, thanks partly to our pristine mountains and steppes where our goats pasture. The second is quality. Our factories are equipped with the latest machinery from Germany and Japan, and they can deliver quality. Their fast learning staff is uh, trained abroad to run that machinery. We have very skillful people who can have attention to detail and an aesthetic eye. I work with very few select factories here, and I'm often amazed with the craftsmanship skill and hard work of the people who are involved in the process. And I'd like to take this opportunity and thank them very much and tell them, yes, Mongolia can produce best quality cashmere that touches many people around the world. Third element is design. I think nature has, has made an amazing job designing such a thing as cashmere. And there's very little left to do for a designer working with such a beautiful natural fiber. I love designing pieces that are simple, but they have, that, that, which have a little twist about them. I avoid designing classical pieces, and I try to design pieces that last long and comfortable to use. It's very easy to get carried away while designing, and just to design for the sake of designing or just for the sake of newness. It's more challenging to design pieces that are innovative and truly enjoyable and practical for wearer. But like in many other fields, the actual product designing is only a part of an entire process, which is a final product. In this case, turning a pile of cashmere into a personal experience. Everything needs to be designed and thought through, starting from labels, screen tags, what's red and what safety pin to use, whether the label is scratchy for wearer, whether the screen tag is damaging the product. Sometimes in our company we can discuss for minutes whether we should stitch the label with two little stitches on sides or two, four little stitches on four corners. And then we can talk about packaging. Are plastic bags environmentally friendly? 
is the gift packaging appealing to an eye? Or could it have the second function after the use, so that it's not just gets thrown away? Oh, sorry. And um, the fourth element is brand. The product is not much without the brand. These days, we don't just buy a product, buy entry experiences. Brand is communicated through visuals, brand touch points, and communication. Brand needs to be authentic and to have, and have a unique selling point. Brand relevant concepts need to be developed for the visuals, such as print material, website, and product imagery. For us to do a shoot, it takes approximately 10 people, and on a good day, we take about eight shots a day. Brand building is an ongoing project for us, too. And there is another intangible element I would like to add to these four elements I mentioned above. There is something about the energy of Mongolian people whose strengths our product goes through, and the energy of the Mongolian land that one can definitely feel in our products. I think everyone would agree that food made with love will always taste good. Same goes with products. If a lot of attention and care put into it, one can feel it. All these four plus four elements, that is raw material, quality, innovative design, brand, and energy of Mongolia, can result in a truly unique and differentiating product that we can all be proud of. I feel humbled standing here and talking about design and luxury, where so many amazing people present talk about important issues like democracy, policy, education, science. But at the same time, I do feel that design and beauty are, are important in our lives. They inspire us, they make us feel good, and they make us dream. And dreams come true sometimes, and, but they need to be dreamed. I want to dream about Mongolia being known not only for the best Kashmir and the best designed Kashmir, but also the most soulful Kashmir. What do I mean by that? I mean Kashmir that's been happy at every stage of its existence. It starts with the land. If land is healthy, people prosper from it. As we know, Kashmir goats do contribute to the desertification that is happening. And as designers, we should be aware of the fact that it, it's happening, and if possible, help or even contribute to various projects tackling this issue. Then it continues to happy nomads who are supported in their traditional lifestyle of grazing goats. This way, we're also preserving one of the traditional heritages of, of our country, that is nomadic life. Then it continues to manufacturing, which hopefully at some point will be totally environmentally friendly. So to put all of these elements into a very simplistic and symbolic circle, which doesn't have an end or beginning, it goes like this. Soulful Kashmir circle is the result of happy land, happy nomads, local green manufacturing, highest quality product, innovative design, creative way of delivering the product. As you can see, it really requires a good teamwork. Hopefully, Mongolia will be known not only for our great ancestors, for the extractions of our natural resources to fuel other economies, for our beautiful vistas, but also first developing country in the world that managed its natural resources in a clever and sustainable way, country that kept its pristine land for future ecotourism, and the country who gave the world not only the best quality and best designed Kashmir, but also the most soulful Kashmir. Thank you.